Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators. Today we are continuing our snorkel series here on the big island of Hawaii, where we rank our different snorkel locations based on location, water access, wildlife, water traffic, and facilities. And as always, we're gonna be ranking each category on a scale of one to five manta rays. Five manta rays. So Kua Bay is one of the more popular destinations along the west side of Hawaii. It's located just north of Kailua Kona on Highway 19 or the Lower Road. The best way to identify where this turn is, because there's not any kind of a uh, stop sign or traffic light there, is it's the turn right at the big cinder cone. Kind of looks like a bum sticking up in the air. Uh, and you'll be going left if you're coming from town towards Kua Bay. It is a part of Kakahakai State Park. And as we mentioned in our previous video, there are a couple different turn offs for that. So definitely look for that cinder cone to make your turn. Being about 20 minutes north of town, it is a great spot for those of you staying up at the resorts further north. It's only about 20 minutes from the resorts. But unlike Mahalua Beach, which we talked about previously, this road is very well paved and an easy drive in to the access point. So because it's a nice central point between the resorts and town, but it's still a drive for either of them, I'm going to give this three out of five mantas for location. Water access at Kua Bay is by far one of its best features. As you can see, it is a full on beautiful beach with a nice fine sand, which is part of the reason it's so popular, but that makes water access very easy. You can just stroll into the water. You can get some decent swell here though, but as far as uh, the typical lava rock that you have to watch out for here on the big island, there's not a lot of that. Yeah, you can find it. It's still some lava rock to get over actually to get to the beach. So do be mindful. You'll wanna wear some decent shoes, uh, but they do have stairs getting down to the beach area as well as some different kind of pathways over some lava rock. But as far as water access goes, you can stroll right into the water from the beach and it is super easy. So for water access, we get the elusive five manta rays. Five manta rays. Here for Kua Bay. So because it is a true beach, you're gonna have a lot of sand going straight out from the beach. So the best snorkeling in this area is gonna be on either side of the beach. And here at Kua Bay, the best snorkeling is gonna to be to your north or to the right as you're facing the water. Here you can find a variety of fish. Because there's a decent drop off and lots of different cliffs, you can find all kinds of different things. You can find uh, rays that might come by, both eagle rays and manta rays. You can find just a variety of different coral, but a whole variety of things can be seen here at Kua Bay. A really great option if you're looking for a variety of sea life. One thing to note that while they do have lifeguards here, you definitely wanna be mindful of the swell as well as currents here because it does get pretty deep pretty quick. So just be very careful about that you're staying to your level of ability, that you're paying attention to which direction the current is going so that you don't find yourself in a tough spot when you're really tired down the road. Because of the opportunity to see a variety of wildlife, both uh, shallow and deeper, I am giving this four out of five manta rays. Next is water traffic, and water traffic here at Kua Bay is definitely one of the low points. It is a very popular beach, and as you can see, as the day moves on, you, it only gets more and more full, and even in the morning, this place is pretty uh, busy compared to most places along the west side. So getting into the water, you're definitely gonna have several people around you, but actually most of those people do stay kind of within, you know, waist deep and they're splashing around on the waves. They're not a ton of folks who are actually snorkeling. Uh, you know, unlike other places that we've done like Two Step or Captain Cook, most of the activity is gonna be right around the beach. And only a handful of people, at least in my experience, have been in the water in the snorkel sites. So it's really not that bad. There's not a ton of boat traffic that comes up here. There are some boats that might come and hang out, but it's not gonna be a place where a lot of the tour boats come. So because of minimal water traffic, once you actually get into the water, I'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays. Finally, we come to facilities. And unlike the lack of facilities or the very minimal facilities at places just down the road, like Mahalua, Kua Bay has full on excellent facilities. It's very well developed. Uh, like I said, you actually have stairs that go down to the water. You have various shower opportunities to rinse off. Uh, again, there's a ton of sand on this beach, so you're gonna be taking a ton of sand home if you don't uh, rinse off after your time there. And right at the roundabout at the base of the drive in, there is an actual bathroom. And they're not huge, but there's legitimate bathrooms. Uh, it's not just porta potties over like at Mahalua. You know, can go to the restroom, you can shower off, you can clean up and get around really easily here at this beach park. 
Because of its popularity, however, you want to get here early and just expect to have to park a real far distance away. Uh, there's not a ton of parking here for as popular as this beach is, and the legitimate parking spots run out very early. So people end up parking well up the road, just along the side of the road, and it becomes quite a squeeze, even early mid-morning. So uh, just be ready for that. Make sure to bring your reef safe sunscreen because there is not a lot of shade here at all. And so it's quite exposed. And so if you forget to bring that sunscreen, you're definitely gonna be baking and definitely reapply. We are really close to the equator here. Similarly, make sure to bring lots of water, stay hydrated, and of course, good snacks. So because of excellent infrastructure and decent parking, I'm gonna go ahead and give this the illustrious five manta rays, five manta rays for facilities. And as always, of course, make sure you leave this place better than you found it. Uh, let's respect this beautiful location for future generations to come. If you have comments or questions, go ahead and leave those below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that and hit that like button. Smash that like button, in fact. Don't just hit that like button. Smash that like button. So come check out Kua Bay. It's a beautiful beach, lots to see and do, and we'll see you next time.